Let's see two visual proofs of the AMQM inequality, one for two variables and one for three variables. Suppose that A and B are both non-negative real numbers. Then we can place an A by B rectangle with one corner at the origin in the plane like this. Now take a second copy, rotate it, and shift it to the corner of the first rectangle opposite the origin. These two rectangles fit perfectly in this A plus B by A plus P square. The line connecting the origin to the upper right vertex of the square is the diagonal of the square, and thus has a length given by the square root of the quantity a plus b squared plus the quantity a plus b squared. But this length then simplifies to square root of 2 times the quantity a plus b. Another way to get from the origin to the upper right corner of the square is to travel from the origin to the opposite vertex of the original rectangle along a line with length square root of a squared plus b squared, and then to traverse from that vertex to the opposite vertex in the second rotated rectangle. That length is also square root of a squared plus b squared, so the total length traveled on this path is 2 times the square root of a squared plus b squared. But now we see that the shortest distance between two points in the plane is along the line connecting them. This means that the square root of 2 times the quantity a plus b is less than or equal to 2 times the square root of a squared plus b squared. When we divide both sides of this inequality by 2 times the square root of 2, we obtain a plus b over 2 is less than or equal to the square root of the quantity a squared plus b squared all divided by 2. The value on the left, a plus b over 2, is the arithmetic mean of the two numbers a and b, while the value on the right, square root of a squared plus b squared over 2, is the quadratic mean of the two numbers a and b. This latter value is sometimes called the root mean square as well. Now with the two variable case in hand, let's see David Treby's wonderful extension to three variables. Here we start with a, b, and c, all non-negative real numbers. Then we place an a by b by c rectangular prism with one corner at the origin in three space like this. Now take a second copy, rotate it, and shift it. And then take a third copy, rotate it, and shift it like this as well. As shown, these three rectangular prisms fit perfectly in a cube with a side length of a plus b plus c. The line connecting the origin to the farthest vertex of the cube is the space diagonal of the cube and thus it has a length given by the square root of the sum of three copies of a plus b plus c squared. But then this length simplifies to the square root of three times the quantity a plus b plus c. Once again, another way to travel from the origin to the end of the cube space diagonal is to traverse the three space diagonals in each rectangular prism. These rectangular prisms all have the same dimensions, so they all have a space diagonal length of square root of the quantity of a squared plus b squared plus c squared. You can prove this using the Pythagorean theorem a couple of times, or simply referring to the general distance formula in Euclidean space. Since there are three cuboids, the distance along the yellow space diagonals is three times the square root of the quantity a squared plus b squared plus c squared. But again, the orange line represents the shortest path from the origin to that point in space, and therefore the length of the orange line is less than or equal to the length of the path obtained by traversing the three yellow space diagonals. This means that the square root of three times the quantity a plus b plus c is less than or equal to 3 times the square root of the quantity a squared plus b squared plus c squared. When we divide both sides by 3 times root 3, we see that a plus b plus c all over 3 is less than or equal to the square root of the quantity a squared plus b squared plus c squared all over 3. Again, the left side is the arithmetic mean of a, b, and c, while the right side is the quadratic mean, or the root mean square, of a, b, and c. So this visual demonstrates the AMQM inequality for three variables. Notice that in both cases, we used rectangles or rectangular prisms. Can you think about how this proof might generalize for more variables, even though creating a corresponding diagram might not work? Also, can you see from these diagrams what conditions guarantee equality in the AMQM inequality? Let me know in the comments, and thanks for watching. If you like this type of video, I have an entire playlist of inequalities proved visually on my channel. Please check that out to help support my channel.